Hi folks and welcome to episode two of the Frisch Show. I'm your host Andrew, Mr. Money Mental UK. I'm a part-time eBay and Depop reseller and a mental health advocate. And in today's episode of the Frisch Show, I'm basically going live to do some research into some items that I have bought in charity shops to discuss whether or not the uh, concept of buying items blind without actually researching them by doing by looking up stuff on ebay sales etc is actually worthwhile or whether we should always be looking up everything we buy um i very rarely look up stuff we'll see why as i progress through this um might get some guests on as well if anyone's about but we shall see so yeah um Let's show you what I've got first of all. Here on my table in front of me is today's haul. I've been on, um, where they go? Went, went to three North Wales towns that are all very close to each other. I say towns, I'm not sure if all of them are actually towns or not. But three places in North Wales that are very close to each other. Four, in fact, because I stopped off in Wrexham on the way back. Uh, various different charity shops picked up some stuff. Um, didn't look it up on the uh, the phone, etc. So I thought I'd do some live research as part of the fifth show. Uh, it looks like we've got some people in the chat as well. So let's see if we can get some uh, hello said. Looks like we've got Damien. Uh, hi, Damien. We've got Richard Payne. Hi, Richard. And we've got Michelle in. Hi, Michelle. So basically, yeah, I'm going to do some live research into eBay souls, see if I can find anything. We'll go through what I paid for stuff, try and work out what I'm going to list it for, and see if I've made any money. Um, I have spent quite a bit today, probably about 80 quid or so. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, right, let's just grab stuff randomly from, from what's in front of me. So the first item... I've got here is a jumper. It is a like a brown jumper by William Hunt, Savile Row, made from merino wool. Uh, this cost me one pound in size medium. So yeah, I spent a pound on that. Uh, never bought William Hunt before. Know what he rhymes with, but we're not going to that. Uh, let's see. If our first item is worth some money, let's get the screen share on. There we go. Okay, so William Hunt. Marino wool jumper. Do a few items listed. Let's see if any have sold. So look. Obviously not the best time for Marino wool, but what have we got here? 15.99 plus shipping. Uh, 30 quid there. That's one month. 15 quid plus shipping. It's gone for like a tenner. It's mostly gone on auction. Uh, that was a new tag. 29 quid for one there. Is that? That's new tags. So probably say 15 to 20 on this probably go it'll probably go about 20 quid on it see where it ends up i'm just going to put used on it on the filter just to check if yeah, five results for used 15.99 plus shipping seems to be the one it'll probably go 17.95 free shipping on that so from a pound we've already seen that the first blind item bought has made some money. Bought that because it just said it was Savile Row and it was like merino wool. Um, so yeah, cool. Uh, can't actually look at the mouse on this. Item cost listed value. I'm doing spreadsheet. Uh, cost one pound. Listed value seventeen ninety five. There we go. Right, 
So that's the first item. I've done two cakes, Steve, uh, Craig. Ooh, I've just sold. I've had a sale. It's time for guess the price of Money Mental UK while I get the next item out. What have I just sold some curtains for? We've got enough people for guess the price. Are you guessing what I've sold a pair of curtains for? The next item is a Fred Perry polo shirt. Now, this is a bit unusual. It looks, looks, looks just like a normal Fred Perry polo shirt to me. Thirty-two ninety-nine, go higher. But like a, a normal sort of Fred Perry polo shirt to me. But looking at the brand, it's got Fred Perry Nigel Carbon garment. Fred Perry, so there must be some kind of collaboration between the two it is a genuine one i checked it so i'm just not aware of that collaboration but uh yeah uh let's have a look to see what a fred perry nigel carbon t-shirt polo shirt is worth uh fred perry Nigel, I can't spell it. Carbon. That's a lot. No, there's Nigel Carbon stuff there. Uh, there's a polo shirt there that's gone for 28 quid on bids. Uh, and there's one there that's gone for 25 quid on bids. Um, so I feel like this is probably going to be worth something. Uh, yeah, that went for like 28 quid. Size medium. Same sort of one as I've got, actually. Um, so, yeah. That's going to be interesting when it's all Gus Gunner's auctions. Uh, let's see if there's any listed. Nothing listed. Nothing listed. Um, yeah, I don't know what to go for now. Maybe 35 quid. Yes, Richard has looked up to see what I've sold for 69.95. Correct. What size is it? It's a medium, I think. Well, it's a 44. I don't know what like a 44 is for now. Is it medium? Medium, medium or large? But yeah. Cool. Um, I might have to do a bit more research into that. But from two quid, I mean, I was having an hour in a bit about it because it's like about maybe 12.95, maybe 15. But glad I picked it up. 34.95 question mark. More research needed. Yeah, it's too small for me. This wouldn't fit me. So, but yeah, cool. Good start from three quid invested so far, and we're doing all right. What we got next? Ah, yes, some Tommy Bahama swim shorts, um, in size XL. Now, I sold I I sold a pair of secondhand swim shorts the other day. Normally, I ignore swim shorts because I'm like, who wants to wear? Secondhand swim shorts, you know, it's pretty like disgusting. It's got like a fucking hammock in it, but you know, I do sell because I have sold some secondhand ones. You know, they got from a wholesaler and they sold well, so um, strong price. So, so I thought I'd pick these up. These Tommy Bahama swim shorts for two quid. Uh, let's have a look, see if there's any there. Hey, cat peddler, he's the cat peddler. Uh, let's get the screen share on. Tommy. Bahama. Swim. Shorts. Uh, condition. Used. Uh, somebody's asking 40 quid for a pair. I think that's probably quite optimistic. Could be wrong. Work on souls. I bet there's nothing in the UK. Uh, 
all USA, Australia, USA. Paired air gone for four ninety five plus postage on auction. Um, paired air gone for twenty quid plus postage on auction. Seven pound fifty plus postage on auction. I don't know. I'll try with twenty five quid and see what happens. Tommy Bahama is not a cheap brand, so you see. Who are we drinking with you tonight? No, I'll just be live after the football. Um, Tommy Bahama shorts two pound. Go twenty four ninety five. But again, I feel I need to do a bit more research into that. Look on Terapeak. On tab open. Right. What have we got next? I'll have to find somewhere to put this stuff. I'll put it down here. Uh, right. Next item. Again, two pounds because it came from the same charity shop. Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, Lemon shorts. Distressed look with like holes and whatever, that's fine, that's okay. It's just a distressed look. Genuine Abercrombie's, um, 32 34 apparently. Uh, I don't think that's quite right because uh, they're short, so they can't be a 34 leg. Um, but you know, well done, Bernardo's, for uh, for trying to uh, guess the size there. Um, definitely not 32 34s. Uh, 32s. Oh, actually, I think I think what what has happened is that these was originally jeans, and somebody has made them into shorts. Is that salvage there on that? I never know what salvage looks like. Um, but yeah. I'm a crumby devon short. Cost me two quid. Let's have a look. Let's see what some Abercrombie denim shorts are going for. Men shorts. Oh. Men's shorts. Uh the do not actually that many. Uh fifteen quid plus shipping. Ten uh that was a brand new. Let's go used. Only one pair of used that has gone for a tenner. That's undersold that. Sure I could get fifteen quid for a pair of Abercrombie shorts. Uh I'm going to try 14.95 on these anyway. Hey Ali, hey is there Emma? Emma wants entertaining. They can watch me. What's more entertaining than that? I mean, you know, I'm good eye candy. Um, let's put this in. spreadsheet because I use spreadsheets now because I, I now have Microsoft Office that I paid a fiver for um, right next we have got again two pounds uh, upcoming event oh I've got to go on there uh, we've got a gap spell out hoodie two pound size large Pretty sure there'll be some money in that from two quid, but let's find out. Yap, spell out hoodie. Yes, no results found in shorts. Looking men. What do we got? Oh, yeah, let's go condition 
used. We've got the 25 quid. Hold on, that's got a different bit of a different pattern, but 25 quid. 30 quid there. 30 quid. That's a size small, same as mine. 30 quid. Oh, okay. So I'm going to list that one for 29.95. Not bad from two quid. Gap hoodie, two pound, 29.95. But doing okay so far, folks. Um, oh, my research. But doing okay. We're making money. We spent what? Oh, nine quid. And potential listed value is far in excess of that. Uh, right. Next item. Again, two pounds. And it is this. It's out of season, so I'll look it up, but I doubt anything like this is sold. It's this vintage uh, fleece. Uh, it's got like a a really vintagey sort of check tram line sort of i'm making up fucking words here pattern um and it's vintage saint michael from marks and spencers just about to see the label there it's two quid i just thought that's cool that's gonna have some money in it nice vintage piece like that gonna be worth something in the winter one of these young d poppers will probably have it off me but let's um Let's have a look. Vintage St. Michael Place. Yeah, only one sold in the last 30 days, but that's gone for 26 quid. Um, so you can't really uh, knock that. I'm pretty sure it'll probably go for about 30 quid in the uh, in the winter. Hey, Tori. Tori, I'd like this, actually. This should be right up your street, this, this kind of thing. This... Nice vintage St. Michael's fleece for two quid. I'm sure you'd like that. I reckon I'll wreck with 30 quid, maybe more in the, in the uh, winter. Uh, let's put that on the spreadsheet. Go 29.95 on that. already got over 150 quid's worth of listed value from 11 quid spent right next item which oddly enough again was two quid and it is this um nike uh holland it's holland yeah kmvb that's holland um nike holland uh top uh, I'm going to have to bloody age this somehow, work out what season it is. But yeah, Nike Holland top, football top. Cost me two quid. Let's have a look, see what it's worth. Uh, I might struggle with this one because uh, I need to... actually work out narrow it down to the year but um oh, I'll put shirt rather than top you know, somebody listed one there for 40 quid but let's have a look on their souls and see if anyone's got a Holland did Holland qualify for the Euros this time? Fifteen quid there. I don't think that's the same as what I got. So we've gone seven quid there. That's got to be at least fifteen quid anyway. 
maybe more need to uh, research that one a bit more i think uh there's one there going for 14 quid a bit but yeah hey gorgeous gem how are you i have to research that one a bit more uh, nike holland top plus two quid more research needed on that one right so let's see what else we've got oh yeah here i have got some electronics i bought electronics one piece of electronics um i paid a fiver for this i paid up for it i don't normally pay more than three quid for these we sold them before some all the time these i say all the time you know i sold a few of them it's a sony ipod dock but i was prepared to pay a bit more for this one because it's got the remote with it uh, i've never seen one with a remote before because the remotes are tiny they always go missing so uh, i was prepared to pay a fiver for that given it's got the remote let's see if we can find any more find any that have sold with the remote uh, sony's really easy to look up because they have the model number underneath um so all i've got to do is type in sony this is icf ds there you go it's, it's filled it out for me ds 15 ip all right one there gone for 21 quid uh the chinese have got remotes so that if i had no remote no point looking for no remotes in fact i probably need to go sort this by highest because the highest value ones be the ones got a remote um there you go 19.99 plus shipping three pound so 22 quid 23 quid so yeah i'll list that one for 22.95 all right for my fiver uh sony uh, ipod dock 22.95 Oh, cooking with gas. Tap has reckons twenty four ninety nine for his post. Might go twenty five on it. Let's see what the competition's like at the time when I come to list it. Um, right. Got to pull out another random item. We have here a Reebok, so it's vintage for Reebok. It's um yeah what we've been to um because they haven't made kit for wales for some time uh, a reebok uh, wales rugby shirt um this would have been perfect when the uh, five nations refused to recognize france as a nation was on but unfortunately that is now gone so whether this gets listed now or caps kept for the next major rugby tournaments Probably, probably get kept the next major rugby tournament because uh, prices on rugby stuff just shoots up it's worth holding on to but yeah vintage rugby uh wales rugby top uh, a reebok um three pound fifty only a size small but for three pound fifty i'm not gonna uh i'm not gonna say no to that reebok wales rugby shirt now oh yeah i'm still sorting by highest aren't i um where i get best match on ended recently that's what i want oh, best match uh ended recently well i may not be able to find the exact same what so we saw one for nine quid that's massively undersold um 35 quid but that's a bit of an older design i don't think red stuff brains is the sponsor on this one so this will be later 2000 there's 30 quid that's 125 year anniversary though is this and ah this is 125 year anniversary one as well 
even better so that's gone for 35 quid on bids um and i might not be able to find another one of those because i imagine they're quite rare um that's 20 quid but that's in poland and that's 10 auctions Uh, I might actually put 125 into the search. Scroll up to the top. Uh, just to narrow it down. So we've got 35 quid. Uh, it's 20 quid there, but that is um, short sleeved. 29 quid, that's Poland. 29 quid plus shipping there. Oh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. We'll try 35 quid, but it might it might even be worth more. Reebok rugby shirt, 350, 34.95, but but that is more research needed. Boom! Cooking with gas. Uh, right. So grab next. Let's grab some training, shall we? Mix things up a bit. So I got these. I paid up for these. Get a nice view of my uh, crops there. I paid up for these. Uh, I paid a tenner. But they're in good condition. They are genuine. But I don't think I'll actually get anything on search for these. Because these... Oh, I've got me... I do now track them here. Sometimes, like, people will tell you to look up ART numbers and whatever else doesn't always work when you get something a bit more unique these are some adidas um trainers lovely colors that bright colors that attracted me first off and then i i saw that they said they were adidas nba series they've got like an nba logo on i need to send these to darren actually yeah um let's we'll see if he's ever come across anything like it but uk and a half Adidas NBA series trainers. They're really cool, really good condition. Um, the reason I say it's highly unlikely to find anything for them, they have got an ART number on, but they are, they do say sample, which means that they probably weren't a lot of these made. They're probably quite rare. Um, we have an Adidas outlet not far from us where a lot of sample stuff ends up. So it's quite common to find I did a sample stock in the charity shops around here. Um, well, not, not common, but it's not uncommon to find it. But yeah, so mold. I'll be selling at Wrexham on Sunday, I think, possibly. But I might do might do mold. Um, yeah, if, if you're going to be at a lot of doing doing Wrexham, yeah, I could do uh, do mold. Yeah, so it's got like sample, not for sale, sort of. Written. I don't know if that'll come up, but sound not for sale on the size, but you know, we'll ignore that. So yeah, some Adidas NBA series, very rare trainers. So because of the rarity of thought stuff it, I'll pay a tenner for them. I doubt very much I'm gonna find if you try StockX for pricing, what's StockX? I've not come across that before. Um yeah. I might put the ART into Google in a second, um, just in case. Oh, yes, NBA series trainers. One sold, 45 quid plus shipping. Uh, they were the 76ers. It's like the colours probably mean something, like, but I don't have the knowledge to identify that, so I have to obviously research it more. Uh, they're not a sample. Yeah. But I mean, they've gone for 48 quid um, on auction, so I'm going to be safe listing these for 50 quid. Colorway looks like Seattle Supersonics. Uh, yeah, it could be. Um, Chinese Stock Exchange. Uh, cool. Um, let me have a look for Seattle Supersonics. Uh, yeah it's definitely seattle supersonics colors i think you're right uh, 
Bet nothing comes up for these though. Got some superstars. Uh, but yeah, they're branded the superstars. But yeah. I bet you 10 to 1. Nothing will come up for this ART number. Uh, let's have a look. A R T G. Is that an O or zero? Zero seven nine six eight. Yeah. Nothing for those. So yeah, they're just like super rare. So they could be worth anything, you know. I have no clue. Um, no clue at all uh, whether they uh, on value on those could be under quid but we're going to say at least 50 quid StockX for traders. I've made a note of that there. Thank you, Tori. Um, right. Evening, Peter. Uh, so, yeah. Right. Let's grab something else. Oh, oh yeah. I've got loads of Everton shirts. Like, somebody just donated all the Everton shirts. So, I have an Everton shirt here. Umbro, it's an official one. They did have one fake shirt in there, which um, I was able to reach out. Um, and obviously not buy. Uh, five quid. No idea on season for that, but I'll have a look. See if we can find anything. Umbro, Everton shirt. Ah, that's Google, not eBay. Doing well here, son. Right. Number up, Everton shirt. Uh, condition used. Bin. Uh, let's go for souls. That's a boys. That's not an official shirt. Ba, ba, ba. 2007, 2008, 2004, 2005. That looks like it. So, yeah, it could be 25 quid. Need to research it more, but we'll say 25 quid. Um, so, uh, yeah, Umbro shirt one, five pound, so 24.95. So, I didn't bother researching any of this stuff, just grabbed it. Um, next, we have another Holland shirt, another Nike Holland shirt, uh, size large, made in Portugal. Different design to the other one. Um, I need to, um, do more research on it. But that was a five, and we'll say 15 for the time being. Could be worth a bit more. But we've already looked at the other one that I paid two quid for. Really hard that I would pick up like two in two separate charity shops from like a country that isn't like anything to do with Wales. But there you go. So just say 15 on that. Um, another Everton Umbro shirt. Different, this is the home one. So, yeah, again, genuine. I think I've got another one of those. This is a be from different season, but it's you know, some sort of thing again. Two of them, uh, three of them again, slightly different season, but they're all. You know, Umbro Everton home shirts. 
all five quid each. Uh, let's have a look. If I narrow it down to Umbrella Everton home shirt, narrow it down a bit. Christ, it's gone from 42 listings to 161 because um, I haven't filtered on condition. Used over 20. No, I think of final, it's not that. Over a tenner there, Christ. Are you selling, are you selling football shirts for like nine or ten quid? I have a pound for 25 quid each. Crazy people selling, underselling shirts. So we've got 24.95 each on those. Might sit for a bit, but as soon as everything go on a cup run, they'll start doing well. They'll do okay. Um, what size are they? They are like medium, I think. Uh, large, they're all large. So that's cool. Let's see what else I've got. You can just change your price on a new attire because everything's training to. You really need everything to start doing. Well, they didn't have the best season, so I start doing well. I think I'll shoot up. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, I'll, I'll save that bag. Uh, I'll go through that one last. Um, right, uh, this is a brand I always look out for. Uh, saw a couple of times today, but only picked up one item from it. The other one's priced too high. This is Chaps, which is vintage Ralph Lauren. I used to wear Chaps in the 90s. Um, the 90s? Yeah, it was 90s. Um, it's a Chaps Ralph Lauren shirt. Really cool vintage crazy pattern on there. It is linen blend. Uh, it's 85% cotton, 15% linen. Uh, it's just like a really cool shirt that cost me three quid in size large. It was XL. I, I'd be tempted to keep that because I think that's great. I think that's a really cool shirt. But yeah, chaps, short sleeve, linen blend shirt. Three quid. There's going to be money in that. I reckon it's at least 15, but possibly 20. Uh, chaps. No. Then, short sleeve shirt. Uh, and these aren't even linen. I mean, he's gone 25 quid there. 25 quid. Uh, 28 quid. Oh, I got this on screen share. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll say 24.95 on that. I might push it slightly higher because it is. Um, yeah, it's got that linen blend. But we'll say we'll say 24.95 on that. Wasn't even born in the 90s, sorry, only, only 20. Uh, right. Chaps. Shirt. Free. I'll say 24.95 on that. Cool. Uh, next. Something a bit different. An Airfix kit. Uh, £2.50. Apparently, although it's box is a bit knackered, they assured me in a charity shop it is new, unstarted, it's not been opened, etc. etc. So £2.50. We'll take that. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, with Airfix kits, really easy to research because they have a model number on them. You can see it, well, probably can't see it because the sun's too bright here, but this is an A03306. It should be quite easy to research this. 
Um, another FX kits because they always sell super quickly for me. Um, I can't get enough of them. FX A zero three three six. Yeah, not as much as I was hoping for. About fifteen quid. Yeah, probably list that for about fifteen quid. I was hoping it would be worth a bit more, but from two pound fifty, I'm not going to complain. I in. Uh, FX kit forty ninety five. Ooh, one other thing I got in there as well. Football thing, Subutio. I've never saw the Subutio before. I'd have never been bothered with checking it. Now again, it says on here it's complete. It costs four quid. I mean, you can open up the box and have a look. So, you know, from what I can see, there's like some Subutio stuff there. So hopefully it is complete. Um, but yeah, four quid for a Subutio set. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to turn that down. Matt's been selling lots of Revel kits. You've been reveling in the Revel, have you, Matt? So I did there, right? Subutio. A. No, this is a six zero. One four zero. Let's have a look. Um, on the souls. There's the Subutio soul for anything. Condition used. They're all used. Yeah, twenty. Is that the same one? Yeah, twenty four ninety five plus postage, so thirty quid. Twenty four ninety five plus postage with broken flag. Oh, there you go. So you know, thirty quid. Uh, so not bad for four quid. Boom! Cooking with gas. So put this video into the spreadsheet. Four quid into twenty nine ninety five. Obviously, I need to check if it's complete. If it isn't, twenty quid. Still going to make some money on it. So happy with that. Oh, next, a pair of shoes. Didn't get many shoes today. This might be the only pair I got apart from traders. Yeah, I picked up these shoes. Men's like. Oh, the look. men's shoes. Paid six pounds for these. Six pounds for a pair of shoes. These are vintage. Um, with a commando sole, I believe. Yep, commando sole. Made in England by a brand called. I think I've actually got the. Uh, this brand here, Chini. Chini shoes. Yeah, so six quid for some Chini shoes. Let's have a look to see what Chini shoes are worth. I mean, surely they've got to be worth more than six quid. Surely to God. This bit looks like made in England. And it said Commando Soul one. You know, Commando Soul was cool. Um, the do. Chini men's shoes. Condition used. Let's go and have a look at soul items that are on souls. Did it do? Uh, bloody hell, 215 quid. Oh, let, let's 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 narrow it down a bit. Let's put vintage in. 36 results. That's a pet. Jesus Christ. Whoa, hey, 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 165 quid. Warm ones. Okay. Uh, let's not get too overexcited then. Uh, mine definitely not warm ones. What have we got here? Whoa, 135 quid. 
Jesus Christ, 225 quid. What the hell? 175 quid. Oh my God. 25 quid. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, so yeah, um, well, yeah. Uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, I think I've done all right there. Buying blind, yes. Buy blind the future. Buy a pair of shoes, 135 quid. They need a bit of cleaning and whatever, but I'll just go 129.95 on those. Boom, bosh! That has paid for the entire trip. Uh, when slash if I sell them, um, amazing. What have we got here? I have here a box. In Palace there, I'll clean them up before I list them. Um, some Pimpernel placemats. Unlike most of the Pimpernel stuff I buy, I did actually remember to check that everything was here. So we've got six, like bird placemat uh probably should say on it what it is hedgerow birds uh, that was a fiver but i've sold pimpernel before for about 20 quid so i felt fairly confident on spending a fiver on that but let's have a look pimpernel placemats bird Yeah, uh, condition used. Jesus Christ, they're not vintage. 20. Oh, there you go. That's the sort of ones I've got. Hedgerow birds, 20 quid plus shipping. Excellent. I can't see anything else that's in the uk anyway well i'll say 22.95 on those then slightly more than i thought i thought it'd be about 20. uh all right what have we got pimpernel placements Twenty-two ninety-five. Right, all there's an end there now. Let's keep going. Get this to the same place. Must have done. Spent two quid on. It's in my size, but I don't like the pattern. Uh, this size XL, short sleeve, fat face shirt with like anchors on. Uh, it was two quid. I usually sell fat face shirts for about 12 to 15 quid. So I felt for two quid, it was going to have some, uh, it was worth picking up. Uh, let's have a look. Fat face, men's shirt, fat face, short, beam shirt, uh, used. So, 99, yeah, about what I expected. 16.99 is a bigger size. 14.99 plus shipping. 99 plus shipping. Yeah, I say 14.95 on that. So that's all right. Fat face shirt, two pound 14.95. Good. Pull these curtains too. There we go. Get rid of that sunlight. I don't want the sunlight. It's too helpful. 
Yes, yeah, so we're open two quid. Um, what we got now? Oh, yeah. A couple of places I've went to. No, not that. Uh, next item. Size small, which I usually stay away from. £6.50, which I usually don't pay that much for stuff. Because I can just buy stuff cheap, as you can see. But I paid up for this £6.50. It's genuine. Adidas. Top size small. Uh, Miami Heat. So I thought, oh, that's, that's cool. Miami Heat, NBA, like, jacket, sweatshirt, jacket thing zip up sweater don't know what you want to call it but yeah adidas miami heat six pound fifty i thought there's got to be money in that there's got to be um so let's have a look adidas miami heat we go sweatshirts first off can't find anything on souls in the UK, somebody's got to be listed for 30 quid. Let's try jacket. Probably not be able to find anything on this. Um, because it's going to be a rare piece. 22 quid there. Um, I don't look sure what that is. Got a screenshot on you. Um, So he's got 22 quid uh, on there on that so we'll say 22.95 now I will probably list it for more because um, even though it's a small size there is no competition so I would probably list it for like 30 quid or so but we'll say now we'll say Adidas NBA jacket it's got six pound fifty, but say twenty two ninety five, which is okay. All right, so what else we've got? Ah. Next, pick this up in a store that always prices stuff by eBay. They actually have like on the price label the eBay prices of stuff, which I think I've got on the next item I bought there. So I'll show you that in a second. But for some reason they didn't research this one. No idea why. Uh, this is an Avizu or Vizu, can't say it. Uh, t shirt. Now, I remember Avizu being a good brand for jeans. Uh, so I figured uh, I'd look at the price. It's £2.80, which is a weird price. Size small to medium, but you know, that's okay. £2.80, uh, Avizu official denim. As far as I can work out, you know, it's, it feels quality, so it's a genuine item. Uh, 59 series t shirt, £2.80. Uh, now, like I say, they didn't put uh, an eBay price on it, but I know a Vizu is a good brand for jeans, so I feel confident that the t shirt will be at least 15 quid. But let's have a look, let's see if I've uh, got this horribly wrong. Uh, a Vizu t shirt. Here we go. Condition used. Uh, 50 glass power shirt. 35 glass vintage. But also vintage in the title. It's 20 quid there. Uh, 30 quid. I mean, I don't know if this is vintage or not. I'm going to have to research it. So with vintage, you're looking like 30 quid. Oh, and this one there gone 45 quid. They, these T-shirts are going for crazy money. Um, Thirty quid. Twenty quid. Yeah, they're, they're not going like cheap at all. Like 25 quid. It could be, it could be a 30 quid t shirt. Um, 
I need to research that a bit more. But uh, yeah, we could be looking at a uh, thirty quid T-shirt there from two quid, two more two pound eighty. Excellent. Boom. Hold that. Put that down. So a Vizu T-shirt, two eighty. Twenty nine ninety five, but more research needed. Uh, awesome. All right, what have we got next? Yeah, so this will be obvious why I picked this up. Um, got the price tag on it. I wanted to show you what got the pretty price tag on it now. Put the price tag on it. Oh, I can feel it. Okay. Put the price tag on. Oh well. This did have an eBay price tag on it, claiming that it went for 20 to 30 quid on eBay. It is. Does it have the hood? Got the hood as well. Uh, unexpected bonus. Um, oh, I'm never going to get that back in now, am I? Jesus Christ. Right, I'll we'll sort it out later. Uh, an Umbro England top. Uh, jacket, lightweight jacket. Uh, it cost four quid. Uh, they originally had that for ten quid, but it's a charity shop in Wales. Nobody in Wales buys England stuff. Um, so yeah, that was four quid. Pretty obvious why I bought this. European Championships are on at the minute. Um, I'm going to make. You know, I'm going to be uh, getting this listed as soon as I can. Hopefully, England will beat Scotland on Friday and it will sell. England windbreaker. Let's have a look. The tag in the shop said they reckon this goes by 20 to 30 quid. Uh, I can't even see any that's sold. I might have to put jacket. All right, that was it down a bit. Uh, boom. Let's see a huge amount of similar stuff. Fifteen ninety nine. That's a track jacket rather than a windbreaker of a hood. Twenty quid. Uh, let's try let's try see if I put waterproof in and that'll come up. Ooh. Is it that old? Oh look at this now. That's gone for 30 quid. Uh, is that no, it's not the same as mine. But yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, we'll say 20 quid on this for now. Hi Mick, how are you? From four quid, not too bad. Hi Richard. Um, England. Jackie, four quid. So 1995, but... More research there on that one. Right, so what else have we got? The never ending pile. Next, I have got a piece of ladies' clothing that was on the wrong way, wrong, wrong, uh, zone with the men's. It's, it cost me 50p, 
and it's a fat face ladies flannel shirt uh yeah 50p fat face i ain't gonna say no to that size 12 um don't know if that's a good size or not don't know if it's that lady stuff but let's have a look fat face size 12 flannel shirt now okay let's turn it down to shirt those are not shirts oh jesus christ well there's one there oh that, that's not sold um let's go sold excuse me on. condition used ah Oh, I've got checked in there. Now, right down. There we go. Bloody hell, fake if I could. Right, let's put buy it now. on. Yeah, about what I expected. Probably be looking around the 12.95 mark. Yeah, say about twelve ninety five, so from fifty p, you know, I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, right. Picked up something else in there. They paid a pound, double the money for the next item. Was it a charity shop? This one, this was just like a second hand clothing store. So I got two items in there, one pound fifty. Um, this was a pound. Joe Brown's quarter zip, uh, which feels like wool. Uh, Sixty percent wool, forty percent nylon. Um, yeah, a Joe Brown's. No, no, it's a full. Is it a full zip? Yeah, full zip. Joe Brown's full zip cardigan. Where do I live? Uh, Wrexham, good. Live in Wrexham. The thrift show. When this happened, this has been like a you know. We did at least one episode before Nick. This is episode two. Um, right. Uh, so let's have a look. Joe Brown's men's cardigan. Again, yeah, not the right time of year to be looking for this. So I'm not expecting to get a realistic price for it. But let's have a look. No, nothing in men's at all. I will just go for a jumper. I can't find anything in men's. Yeah, men's like 30 quid, but it's not the same thing. Uh, but for argument's sake, we'll say 19.95 for the time being. And to clean the lens, it's this, it's this so streaming in. That's not really helping. Uh, right, I'll just say 20 quid on that. Um, might be a bit more when it comes to the winter no point listing that in a minute because it's a thousand degrees uh, right what are we got next oh computer game picked up some media Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. This used to be a £10 game on Xbox. Um, not sure it's worth it a minute, but it was two quid. Um, so, let's have a look. A few days at Clon... I can't say that. Oh, Barry Island, yeah. He's sourcing, yes. I am sourcing currently. Building up my backlog. Um for reasons that we aren't going to at a minute. Harry Potter 
Deathly Hallows. Xbox. Oh, what have I spilled on? That's part two. Not these souls. So these prices are a bit crazy. That people are asking for nine quid. Nine ninety nine, yeah. That's what I expected. It's about a ten pound game. So we've gone for a bit less, about eight quid, but ten ninety five, eleven forty five. Yeah, it's, it's still a ten pound game. So from two quid for something that goes large letter. I'll happily take that. I'm trying not to source stuff that's worth less than a tenner. In fact, I'm trying to source stuff that's not less than 15 quid, but it tends to be a fairly quick flip. Um, right, so what else have got? Still more. So, okay, so these are interesting. I've got a bundle. Should pay for these three. Got fifteen quid on a bundle of I think these are mid nineties, uh, ninety seven. Um, ninety five. Yeah, so like Star Wars micro machines. X-ray fleet, like there's, what have we got? I've got three, four, five, yeah, five, five of these things. Um, now, I'm not too bothered if I've uh, if they're not worth. Um, uh, you know more than i pay for them because they will go into the collection if uh, i don't sell them but i thought 15 quid i thought surely that's got to be a bundle of 60 quid or so uh, but let's have a look star wars uh micro machines x ray fleet there we go Right, don't seem to well, the, just the atot. That's that, mind you. I've got an at out of I or I might have. Can't see anything in the UK that's sold here. Uh, yeah, no, nothing in the UK that's sold. Um, which means let's see if there's any listed. It could mean I could lay my own price on these things. There we go. So we've got one listed 15.99, 21. Oh, that's episode one. Listing eleven quid. So we've done thirty-five quid there, three packs. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I'll probably list them for sixty quid and see what happens. Um, there's not a lot out there, but like I say, I'm not really bothered if they sell or not because. Uh, I will keep it for myself. But I'll try 60 quid on them and see what happens. Uh, right. Then, in the same charity shop as I got the micro machines, and I did a deal. There was like a bag. Oh, this is Lana's fault. No, oh, it's Steve's fault because they've been selling vintage sci-fi books. There's a bag of vintage sci-fi books that was just 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 lying there in front of stood there in front of the um, bookcase. I think so that they could like you know take the stuff out of the bag and and um, pack it up. Um, but I love I'm a you know a sci-fi geek, so I see a bag of sci-fi books and I'm like I want that bag. Um, 
some of them actually I've already got. I had a brief look to see what was in there. I've no clue what these are worth. I paid. I said to her, I said, look, uh, I said, if I take that whole bag of books, how much do you want? And they're charging like 50p a paperback there. Um, she said £7.50 for the whole bag. So I was happy to pay that. Because uh, there'll be some stuff in there I've not got or read that could be in my book collection, which if you watch Drinking with Andrew, you'll know the, for the collection of sci-fi books behind me. Um, or... You know there might be some value in listing it on ebay so let's have a look could take a while to do this research tech war uh, good book by william shatner and um, i've got this one so i don't need to uh add this to the collection so this will be a lister uh if it's worth anything tech war william shatner in fact, I should probably scan these on my phone. Um, it'd probably be quicker than typing in the title, but see, music magpie, I've got plenty. Uh, paperback. Well, two ninety nine for two bucks. Two forty nine. Okay, so two pound fifty. Probably will actually make the effort to list that with pictures and charge slightly more. Because um, they haven't bothered to take a picture. Um, I have got a scanner. I'm just uh, not using it at the minute. Berserker Man next. Um, Rummaging through, rampaging through space, bent on an orgy of random destruction, the killing machines pound all life forms to steam and dust. Humankind fighting for its life has devised a terrifying new weapon. But will Michael Gilunix sink? Stupid name. Humanity's new champion have the psychic strength to wield it. Yeah, never heard of this, but um, so one for the collection. But we'll have a look to see if it's worth anything because I can always read it and sell it. Um, yeah, nothing sold there. I don't know, actually, I've not actually spelled this exactly right. B E R S E R K E R. Still nothing. Fox. Nothing sold, but will the books are asking like six quid, four quid, three nineteen. Yeah, so like yeah, I was gonna list it. I've listed it for about four quid. Uh well we said to do on that one. Oh, there's a Berserker Planet. Oh, so there's a sequel. Oh, so actually, I, I would bundle these. Um, is this a sequel? No idea. This is a sequel. I'll have to have a look. Um, yeah, I can't spend on this. I still got a photograph here of Michelle. So um, that's, that's my point. Because no one else has actually bothered to take pictures, so I want to take pictures from mine. Berserkers Planet. Yeah, it's not going for much, but I will probably work out if that's like a direct symbol, symbol, signal, or sim, sequel. Or, uh, bundle it. If it is, uh, oh, yeah, there's another brother berserker. So it looks like I've got quite a few of these berserker books. Yeah, but I, I know I, I don't want to use, use stock photos, I, I want to take my own um, 
photos because nobody else has got pictures up. That, that's what I'm saying. I would rather take the pictures and list it at the same time. Uh, berserkers. Go to Berserker. Otherwise, I'm just like everyone else on there. Uh, you do. Bit of a zirky paperback. That's the one I've got. Yeah, nothing on sale to that. I'm thinking these these would be good for oh, I don't know if I'm doing that. Oh got this one. The original 1977 copy of Star Wars, the book with it's got like the photo then this is actually in better condition than my copy though so i might swap this for my copy um don't know if there's any money in star wars first editions uh but we'll have a look Oh, I've, I've just put my uh, last no, um, Star Wars Peak back 1977. Ooh, well, the books are so much on fire, but I'm not bothered about that because you can't actually see the condition on the old books. 9.99 plus shipping. Ah, oh, stupid auctions. Buy it now. What screen share on? No, what screen share on? Well, interested in informative bit. I don't think you're interested in informative. Uh, 595. Jesus Christ. 399, 11 quid. I just say a tenner on that. Oh, I'm sake. I nearly paid for everything in that one book, so I'm happy with that. Starman. Have I seen Starman? This looks like a first edition paperback. Korg edition published in 1985. Star Wars 1984, wasn't it? I was born, so probably not first edition. But yeah, Starman paperback. Let's have a look at that. Do, 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 do. Uh, David Bowie, three pounds twenty nine from World of Books. Who don't photograph it? Mm. Oh, I'll try three ninety five on that one. Oh, you would say. I'm going to take those prices for the Berserker books out because I haven't decided what I'm going to do with those yet. We're going to actually assign them or not. Um, what have we got next? Ooh, the Terminator. I don't think I've got this book in my collection either. Published in 1984, so this is from the time of the film. <laughs> 1984 is the year I would be born in if I was 37 this year, but um, obviously I'm only 21 this year. Um, let's see if there's any money in the Terminator paperback. Oh, anyone sold a copy, I said. 30 quid, that can't be right. That's not the same novel. 
that's the one 15 quid so it looks like there's a version that goes for more um like 30 odd quid i obviously have got the cheaper version that does not go for that much i've got the sean hudson nomination tie in oh why is there like is this supposed to be like a card with it why have they all got like a card buy it have a look a free bookmark please note this is not official merchandise it's just a nice item i made okay that's why i've got a bookmark with it but like 20 quid yeah sean hudson starbucks 20 quid boom and that is the entire haul paid for in one paperback uh terminator no money in box people the back 1995 we're going that whoo more books to come oh i haven't got this oh please don't be worth anything please don't be worth anything it's the novelization of the empire strikes back what a brilliant book no pictures of this one but i haven't got the original novelization of the empire strikes back eight pages of fabulous colors there are pictures then oh yeah with pictures oh i have this one ah oh, god one for the collection however let's have a look to see if the empire strikes back is worth anything This should be 1980. Just check. Yep, 1980. Um, not much of a geek. I could identify the year of the book before I'd even checked. Uh, £6.80. £4.42. Yeah, so it's not, it's not like worth huge amounts. Seven quid plus shipping. No, uh, seven pound fifty. I might like put it up for seven ninety five and then like enjoy it for a bit. Uh, seven ninety five. Boom. Fucking gas now. Last. Hawk the Slayer. Hawk the Slayer. Don't know who Hawk the Slayer is. In a time when the dark clouds of chaos covered the lands and the roads were filled with death, Volton the Dark One rolled out. Against him stood one man, armed with the legendary mind sword, whose blade moved at the speed of thought. Hawk the Slayer, the warrior marked by destiny to cut down the Dark One. Apparently this book was to be cost a pound. Hawk the Slayer, 1981. Let's have a look to see if Hawk the Slayer is worth anything. Well, somebody's listed on 13.99 that has gone best offer. Is anything actually listed? Jesus Christ. 19 quid well the books are asking 38 quid i doubt that they have sold it for 38 quid i think they probably just two sold yeah two pound 45 uh they've been selling it for but it's not like there's a lot of competition here we've got 19 quid is the cheapest listing so i will list mine for 18.95 
see what happens. Okay, many, many more books to come. Uh, next, Alan Dean Foster, The Thing. Um, not read that book. Um, so let's have a look. Again, probably one for the collection. Although it's not like really my thing. Uh, uh, okay, that's not souls. Okay, nine pound forty nine. More like it. Three pound twenty. Would you? Thirty quid. Fifty quid. Hang on, it's just nineteen eighty two edition. Corby nineteen eighty two. Fuck, bloody hell! Fifty quid. 40 odd quid, 30 quid. Boom. Yes, we'll say 30 quid for this book. Let's just check. Yeah, that's a paperback. Bloody hell. 30 quid. Right, well, that's not going to crash. That's definitely getting sold. Hawk the Slay. I don't even know it's a film. I've not seen it. Uh, so yeah, the, the thing. Twenty nine ninety five. Cooking with gas. Always buy blind. That's what we're doing here. Always buy blind. Uh, I've got this one. I actually think my version is better condition than this. It's Battlestar Galactica book. Um, I mean this book sold. It's bucket load. Um, so I don't think it's going to be worth anything. But we'll have a quick look. It's not it's not going to be a rare book because that was just such a popular uh film and novelization that tie in ah i probably have to put a year in this 1978 yeah four quid for shipping I got like three odd quid. Oh, we'll just say a fiver on that then. I will be listing that one because I've already got a copy. And my copy's in better condition. You watched the previous episode. Uh, next, Aliens the Female War. Uh, this probably isn't going to be worth a huge amount. I'm pretty sure this came out in the 90s. Uh, it yeah. Then it's the seventh edition from 1998. So, if you publish seven impressions of this book, then it ain't going to be worth a lot because there's going to be loads that have been published. But I'll have a quick look anyway. I'll read that one because I think that'll be quite a good book to read. Aliens the female, one pound plus shipping. Um, yeah, not going to be worth a huge amount that. But. Is going into the collection. Ooh. I don't think I've got. I don't. I might have this. I'm not sure. So this is Blade Runner, but I think it's actually the Android stream of Electronic Sheep with the Blade Runner movie cover on. Um. So do Android stream electronic sleep is the book that Blade Runner is based on. So I don't necessarily think it's the novelization of the film. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. 
yeah, this is a reprint from 1982. Um, so I'll put, well, we'll have a look. Blade, I don't do poetry, Blade Runner. 1982 paperback. Mm. Valentine, is that like a rare fucking thing? £3.50. I need to have a look to see publish this if people are saying that Valentine is rare. Yeah, this isn't Valentine. Granada Publishing. £3.50. Um, but I need to check I've got that in the collection or not. Right. More books. Outland. I haven't got this film. Is this the one with Sean? Yeah, it's the one with Sean Connery. In. Um, so Outland, movie, tie-in novelisation. Um, probably not going to be worth much. But we'll have a look. I'm Dean Foster. Yeah, three pounds. Somebody's got a tenner for it. Yeah, let's shoot for nine ninety five on it then. On the Gate, the unofficial and unauthorized guide to Stargate SG1. Um, I doubt this is going to be worth anything because it's not official. Um, so this, this this could just be a, a re-donate. Um, I locked that into Stargate SG1, so it's not going to be um, added to my collection. But we'll have a look. Beyond the Gate paper back oh. uh, even. Uh, yeah yeah there's nothing there um so that'll probably just get redonated hyper Ooh, Babylon 5 book. Babylon 5, season by season, signs and portents. It's a guidebook, apparently. Interesting. Could be worth something. Might not be. Could be completely worthless. I suspect it's probably worth about three quid. Um, but let's have a look. Used to like Babylon 5. Babylon 5. Signs and portents. Oh, yeah, well, the books have sold it for five odd quid. Uh, I've got three available, two sold. Let's have a look at the souls. 599. It's all right, then. Watch that one for five ninety five. Boom. My seven pound fifty I spent on books so far. I've got like a listed value of over one hundred and twenty quid. So definitely a very good blind buy, and I'm not even halfway through. Independence Day, the book. I've got this one. Uh, 
Um, it's a good book, actually. Uh, if you like Independence Day, the novelization is definitely worth reading. Um, why do you need Pat cheering up, Pat? Talk to us. What's going on? I can't promise to cheer up. I'm just literally just going through. Um, oh, I've got to put the bloody offer. Oh, Freaking about 50 offers in it. Might scan it in a second. That was like 20 sold. Three quid plus shipping on Biz Fiverr. Yeah, two seventy nine. Yeah, we'll see four ninety five on that one. Oh, interesting. Star Maidens. This this is an interesting book. All men are subordinates on the planet of Medusa, for that is the planet ruled by the Star Maidens. A novel by Ian Evans based on the television series. Um, that costs 60p originally, so this has got to be what, 70s? Yep, 77. Anyhow, I'm getting good. Star Maiden. Star Maidens. This might have value, it might not. It might be incredibly rare. It is an incredibly rare book. Um, so uh, Take out paperback. M A I D E N S. Yes, about right. Star Maidens. Uh, books, comic, and magazines. Annual. Well, I'm not finding anything. There we go. Two pound fifty nine. The only one taking pictures. So. It's just not going to happen. Um, I need to see if I've written this. Yeah, Ian Evans has done this, so it's not even that anyway. Ooh. Oh, I've got a book I can't price. Uh Oh, in the annual, let's go for 30 quid. Oh, that, that's, that book could be priceless. Just under £18 on eight books. So I could go, what should we say, 17.95 then? Gremlins. We've got the Gremlins novelization. I don't have this in my collection. Uh, it looks like it's the original one. 1984. A little bit battered, but then again, it is considerably older than me. Um, so, you know, we would expect that. Um, I get the feeling this might have some value. It's not the same edition. I don't want to survive the anxiety, Gremlin. I want to find £2.14. Jesus Christ. I'm keeping it as that price. Why is Gremlins 2 going for more money? Why can't my version be worth a fortune? Three ninety five. dollars right, 3 95 then. Just 
still many more books to come. And no prospect of me getting dinner anytime soon. Murder in Space. Solve the crime that will puzzle television viewers worldwide. Jesus H. Christ. This is from before the television program that I've never heard of came out. Let's have a look. Hopefully, this will be worth a million pounds. No. Now, once again, I have got a book that does not exist. FX Wolf, yep, no. Yeah, so we've again got a book that does not exist. So this book could be worth a million pounds, but we don't know because nobody has managed to sell a murder in space on eBay or even list one. But there we go, murder in space from 19. Eighty-five could be worth a million pounds. Could be worth nothing. What have we got next? H.G. Wells, The Time Machine, SF Masterworks, worthless. Um, M. John Harrison, the Sontari device, SF Masterworks, worthless. I mean, I can prove it to you, but I don't know if I've collected to know that that's just a reprint. Dragon Slayer book. Now, this looks more interesting. Earth and air, fire and water. Of all men, only the sorcerer controls the elements of all creatures, only the dragon. Enter the terrorized domain of Erland. Hear the petrifying thunder of the last evil, all powerful beast. Follow the courageous hero into the mortally dangerous battle. Learn the ancient magic from the only wizard left in the world. Dragon Slayer, a magnificent legend, a thrilling adventure, a sensational step back in time. Please be worth a million. Oh, here we are. 1982. This book is older than me. Dragon Slayer. Hmm. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ, I have to put the author's name in. Waylon Drew. There we go. Prices are all over the shop on Dragon Slayer. Have any sold? Three twenty-eight. Right. I'll ban that one on for three ninety-five. Murder in space is four pound fifty. Why can't it be worth a million? Okay. Next we have got Time Bandits. What a brilliant series Time Bandits is. Um, yeah. Brilliant series that. Uh, well, film, sorry. It's a film, isn't it? Brilliant film, Time Bandits. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't know if the book will be worth anything. Uh, welcome to Still Down, but brilliant film time bandits in books oh. 
1365 somebody's got there being really optimistic because four pound eight just below i wonder if there's any listed uh, yeah people are listed in for like all the books are going for like seven pound 49. i might start i might shove it on for a tenner and see what happens Chariots of the Gods was God an astronaut? Jesus H. Christ. Quite apt, actually. The author's theory is that in the first remote past, the planet was visited by beings from space who perhaps fathered humanity as we know it. It is a challenging contribution to discussion about our past and future. Fucking hell. Over a million copies in print and corgi. Brilliant. Some random pictures. Oh, I'm, not a, not, I'm not a fan of that book, as you can probably tell, but let's have a look. Chariots. Oh. Oh, I still can't type. Well, let's go with an astronaut. Oh, somebody's optimistically asking for a tenner plus postage on auction. Oh, somebody's got a fiver. No, not so. Fifteen ninety nine. Best book ever. Best book ever. Yes, we'll be listing this one for fifteen ninety five. What a brilliant book. Charity of the Gods. Great, great book. Brilliant. Buy it for me for fifteen ninety five. Yeah. According to the evidence oh, he's done a sequel. Eric von Daniken has done a sequel. He's done, according to the evidence, my proof of man's extraterrestrial origins. Hopefully, I can bundle the two together and make even more money. I must have misspelled that. I was like, oh. this other book was so popular. And this one is not. £2.80 plus shipping. Yeah, well, well, mind you, here we go. Well, the books have got some copies that they've sold 61 of. Uh, how much have they been selling for? Oh, like all over the place. Uh, six odd quid. Uh, I'm going to go 5 95 on that, or I could just bundle it with uh, the other one. Good Lord, he's done another one. Miracles of the Gods. Phew. The man is prolific. It's a hard look at the supernatural. And again, where all the books have been selling it. 21 they've sold. Hi, Peter. 8.99. All right, I'll take that.
we now love uh, Eric. He is going to make his much money with his books. Oh my God, there's another one. The gold of the gods. Let's see what Eric's going to make us this time. And here we go. Well, the books have taken a picture sideways. That's how good they are. And they've sold 44 copies. Uh, if you're getting like 5.99 for it, so we'll go 5.95 on that. And it's another. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, brilliant. I like this one. This is the Spaceships of Ezekiel. Right. Are the Von Daniken theories, Von Daniken, sorry, theories, really true? Was Earth once visited by beings from another planet? A major NASA engineer reveals some astonishing facts. So this is like the, you know, this is not by Eric. This is by somebody who doesn't like Eric. Uh, let's see if the spaceships of Ezekiel are worth anything. That I was saying, yes, I will be rich beyond my wildest dreams, or I will just be slightly less poor. Uh, the spaceships of Ships of Ezekiel. Uh, I can't actually find one that's the same edition, but I can see that uh, well, the books are like you know charging quite a bit, which means they're out of stock. They've been getting seventeen pound eighty three. Oh, we'll go seventeen pound ninety-five on that then. Possibly more for the only one who hasn't got it for sixty odd quid, which I am. An extremely rare book there. Eric has written another book for us, Return to the Stars, Gods from Outer Space. Let's see what we've got. The dude must be nuts. I can find well there's one got an auction for like that new other it's from 1972 come on don't take the mech two pounds ready plus postage but that's a bit I need to do more research on that one And here we go, we've got another Eric book. Eric is prolific in search of ancient gods. My pictorial evidence for the impossible. He's took some pictures. Um, Uh, 
Oh, that's looks like CD, 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 book. Yeah, four or five quid. Let's see where the box have knocked the price up on this. We've sold 15 copies so far. Maybe pushing it up to about six quid, so let's say 5.95 on that. I love where the books read prices. And next we have Andrew Thomas Atlantis from Legend to Discovery. I don't think Atlantis had been discovered, so that's quite a claim to fame there in that book if he's actually discovered somewhere that hasn't been discovered. Uh, Atlantis from Legend to Discovery. Nobody has sold any uh, in the last three months. So look on World of Books listed. They have sold five in the past. Yeah, they haven't got much past four quid. So it's like a three ninety five book. Yes, yeah, still alive. We bought a lot, but I did not spend a lot. Well, the books sell the house out there. Oh, Red Dwarf. Infinity welcomes careful drivers. Now, let's see if any Red Dwarf people like to pay lots of money for books. Would help if I could spell welcomes. Uh, oh Christ, they're just knocking it out for two quid. Why? Why do that? Three thirty eight, two pound three, three twenty nine, two forty nine, two forty plus postage. Oh, one ninety nine plus postage. Ah, it's it's mm, three quid for fucking somebody's paid six quid there. It's gonna be three pound twenty five, isn't it? But takes two seconds left, so may as well. Nearly at the end of the box. I'm sure I had a Stephen King book, but no. Uh, next book Warlords of Atlantis. From the depth of space, they came to vanish beneath the sea. It's now a major EMI film. Let's see how much Warlords of Atlantis is worth. Yeah, okay. Thank you, eBay, for correcting me there. Um, oh, there's no book. You've got no book. Four pound twenty. Four pound thirty. Uh, well, the books have sold two copies. Three ninety seven. So I'll three ninety five book again. Next, we have the black hole. Another movie tie in book by Alan Dean Foster. Let's see what that's worth. Enjoyed that, but I'll buy it if you want another copy.
$14.99, take it a back. Outlier. $4.99. The fire. Yeah, maybe slightly more. Let's just see what all the blocks have managed to achieve on it. Yeah, okay. Four ninety five bucks. Next we have close encounters of the third kind. Allegedly, the book has been written by Steven Spielberg himself, which I not a hundred percent convinced that that is correct, but right, close encounters of the third kind. All the books have nearly sold out. Five fifty, not the same edition. Four pounds, same edition. Go on, let's see what well the books are actually hitting for it. I thought that reprice had pushed it up. Six pound nine pence. We'll probably go for five ninety five on that then. Team Rodby's wrote in the book. Star Trek motion picture. This isn't in my collection, but will soon be. Um, plus, it's got some pen marks on it as well. Um, so, unless this book is worth more than the tenner, it's going into the collection. It is not worth more than a tenner. Brand new. Okay, that's a brand new. That's just like. Yeah. Probably one for the collection. The final book. See the extraterrestrial. Written by William Cotswinkle. Uh, so, E.T. the extraterrestrial paperback. Let's look at E.T. paperback. Oh. One pound ninety. One pound ninety. You must be like the most popular book ever. And once owns a copy of you and doesn't want to buy it. Five pound. Two pound thirty-six. Yeah, that's just for the collection. Not worth anything, but of the books that we've been able to value. For my seven pound fifty blind purchase, I've got a listed value. I've still got some that need more research, etc. We have a listed value of that can't be right, is it? That's just that cannot be accurate. Well, okay, I'll tell you what, right. Let the chat decide what do we reckon is the figure that Excel has just told me 
that these books are worth for listed value? What do we reckon? Time to guess the price. Will I pull out some more stuff? My seven pound fifty has netted me. Nobody's had a guess yet. LGG's gone a hundred. Peter's gone 120. Let's make sure I'm counting the right bit. And I've got some that I couldn't price. Yeah, I've counted right. We'll have one more guess uh, when I get the next final bag. You'll be glad to hear. Out. So the figure from me seven pound fifty. Bear in mind, they've still got some books that need valuing. Some I haven't given a price to. Here we go, hundred fifty-eight. So seven pound fifty. I've got two hundred and fifty quid worth of potential listed value there. That is insane. I cannot believe it. Um, so yeah, what a blind buy that was. Right. Next, some more items than I bought blind. Didn't actually check these, but yeah. I spent this next bag of stuff, right? Basically, I just paid like 29 quid for the whole bag of clothes. So I don't know how much each item costs individually, but, but, but this big Sainsbury's bag costs 29 quid. It's all clothing. Um, from uh, I do deserve KFC, but I can't afford KFC after today's extravagant spending. Yeah, 29 quid on a whole bag of clothing. It wasn't a charity shop, it was from a um, second hand clothing store. So, first item we've got a pair of Nike shorts, uh, perfect for summer. Just Nice pair of blue mic shorts. I need to double check the tag. I don't think it's a vintage tag. Um, the only reason it gives me pause is I've got a nightworld.com thing on it, so it might be older than I think. But a pair of Nike like shorts. Let's see what Nike like shorts are worth. Go Nike blue shorts, men's clothing, size medium. So these shed loads of these. Condition used. Um, let's see, and sold. Still at four hundred. Uh, buy it now. Two hundred twenty-one. That narrows it down. Eight quid, tenner, tenner plus shipping, fifteen quid. I don't know if they're vintage or not. Oh, gonna have to research him a bit more, but we'll say for the iron sake, eleven ninety five. So Nike shorts. Um, stick with the shorts thing. I have got a pair of Dickie shorts. 
Dickie's very popular at the minute. Brand new with tags. Look at that. Uh, Dickie's cargo shorts, size 36, which is now worrying because that's my size and these may never, ever get sold or listed because I was just thinking the other day I need some cargo shorts. So, um, these are a keeper. However, if I was to list a pair of Dickies cargo shorts, which are brand new with tags, probably 20 quid, I imagine, maybe 15, but we'll have a look. Um, yeah, I'm keeping those. These cargo shorts condition newer tags. 25 quid, 17 quid, 25 quid, they're two tones. 20 to 30 quid. I would just say 20 quid on those. So I would say, you know, probably listening for more if I could list them but I'm not going to um, oh yeah right okay there are two things in this bag that weren't part of the 29 quid haul uh, I bought these in the, in the charity shop and I just chucked them in the bag so I got this Iron Maiden t-shirt DBG would love this Look at that Iron Maiden, part of the signature collection, apparently. To pay up for this, pay a fiver for this in size large. But look at that cool t shirt. It says the trooper on the back, whatever that means. I don't know if it's about Iron Maiden. Um, got like a medal, badge pin, badge thing on it. So, yeah. Moshing with the moshes. So I don't know what an Iron Maiden signature collection t-shirt is worth, but I figured it's got to be at least 15 quid. Iron Maiden signature collection. No matches. Yeah, well, uh, let's just try Iron Maiden Trooper t-shirt. go used eight results for used five twenty quid eighteen quid tenner twenty quid plus shipping uh we'll say nineteen ninety five on that then Might list it for more when I've done more research. As the signature collection looks like it's obviously quite a rare thing, given there's nothing listed of that. So yeah, and then I picked up a cycling shirt because I was channeling my inner car boot, Chris. Size XL, Planet X in Sheffield. Yeah, three quid. Like from Jersey, um, thinking it's going to be worth. I picked it up, thinking it'd be worth it like twelve ninety five to fourteen ninety five, including shipping. So we'll have a look. Oh, I smell something wrong. Save like something vaguely similar. Oh, right, you go ten pound plus shipping, thirteen eighty five. So yeah, probably probably twelve ninety five on that. So not a great profit, but not a bad one.
double your money off the fees, etc. So I don't explain about that. Right, back to what I actually got in the uh, shop. So the next item is this um, Adidas. Uh, I just got to throw in the wash, but this um, Adidas Climber Cool Polo shirt. Standard Adidas thing. Uh, I don't actually think it's got the logo on it, which is really paying attention for this, isn't I? Size large. I think I was just making up the bag. Um, what did she offer me that for 50p or something? I don't know, anyway. So, yeah. Probably about a tenner, I expect, on that. Well, look. Uh, yeah, pretty much what. Or maybe stretch to eleven ninety five on it. Wet beaver tactic what the hell kind of name is that? Welcome wet beaver. Uh keyword golf in that one. I grab this t shirt to look cool. I don't think I'm gonna like find anything like it on eBay to be honest. Uh, but it's just a cool t shirt. It's not vintage, it's 2017. It's the Great Country 500 Music Festival in Daytona um, Memorial Weekend. It's like a country and western sort of festival t shirt. It's got like the dates and the names of the acts on the back. So I just thought, you know, that's that's a pretty cool like event t shirt. Um, size large again. So I just thought, why not give it a why not give it a try? Army um, surplus in Shropshire. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, not too far from me. Then I'm in uh, I'm in Wrexham, so I used to live uh, near Oswestry. So I used to used to be a Shropshire boy. Yeah, nothing uh, listed or sold. Oh, sorry, nothing sold. See, so there was one listed. Somebody's asking £27.32 plus shipping in America. Um, and somebody's also asking £8.51 uh, in America as well, and £9.36. But yeah, I, I, I've got to try for 15 quid on that because I just think it's uh, a cool t shirt and somebody. Um, Somebody will uh, like that. So yeah, I'm going to try 1495 on it and see how we get on. I'm going to put it on Depop as well. Same price. Uh, what have we got next? Ah, so. Football shirt. Um, yeah, no stains on it, which is amazing because it's white. Canterbury, um, but it's Lily or Lille, Lille, whatever. I can't say French names. Um, shirt, so I'm pretty sure that's the football club, although Canterbury normally make the rugby stuff, which confuses me. But it is a genuine Canterbury product, so uh, yeah, let's have a look. If I could spell Canterbury. Yes, but not right. Oh, Lily shirt. Yeah. 
So we've got one listed for 12 odd quid, but they've done no research on that at all. Uh, let's look on sold. Nothing there. Let's take out the shirt. Uh, nothing on sold, so not sure on that one. Unless I spell, what I spell. L I L L E. Yeah, so we'll just say 15 quid on that. Um, I'm trying to do some more research into it. And next, another football shirt. What's it? Yeah. Club Bruges. So a Club Bruges uh, Puma shirt. Uh, UK medium. I got some of the uh, foreign teams in. Let's say this wasn't a charity shop. This was like a just a second-hand clothing shop. So. They obviously just get their clothes wholesale from cash for clothing places and wherever else. Uh, I probably need to put humour in this. You know, I'll look, I know 15 sold in the UK. Oh, Christ. 15 quid. Well, there we go. Well, that's brand new. 35 quid. I would say 15 quid for argument's sake, but I'll probably list it for more when it comes to it. Okay. Another football shirt. This is an MLS football shirt, which makes me think that they're getting this stuff wholesale. Um, Houston Dynamic. MLS shirt, Adidas. It's got an MLS patch on it. That's what that was called. Um, God knows anything like this is sold in, in, in the UK. Um, obviously, MLS not hugely popular over here, but we'll have a look. Houston Dynamo shirt. There we go. 15 quid plus shipping. Oh, that's boys. Yeah, I can't say anything like this. Um, 25 quid plus shipping, 27 quid there for... That was boys as well. So we'll say 25 quid for the time being, but more research needed. On that one, boom. Next, this is in my size, but I'm not too sure about the color. I don't know. I might keep this one. That's what it's made out of. Uh, it was wool. I ain't wearing it. Uh, yes, okay, you made. 100% cotton. Okay, so uh, there's a the new tags. Uh, ben Sherman. Uh, jumper in size XL. Um, so, yeah. Um, like I say, I might keep that one uh, if it fits me well. Uh, obviously, I won't remove the tags before trying it on. But well, that's what a Ben Sherman jumper goes for. XL. New so we've got 20 quid plus shipping, 20 odd quid, 20 quid. There you go, same one as mine, 19.99. So there we go. All right, with that.
Cool. Uh, next we have another MLS top. It's Adidas DC United. Um, I'm a left top. So yeah. So let's see how much a DC United shirt goes for. If indeed any have sold over here. Brand new, brand new. So quick plus shipping. One of the best offer. I'll probably say twenty five quid on this one again. Uh, I need to do all research on it. It's amazing to actually find football shirts in a shop that's basically run by resellers. But hey ho, not a complaint. Nearly the end now. A couple more items. Uh, the next is a Liverpool shirt. Um, we don't really like Liverpool, but yeah, now that that's Liverpool shirt, it is a bit faded, etc. But what season is it? It's 2007, um, and I think it'll go for a, I think it'll go for a bit, maybe 15 quid or so. But we'll have a look. No sourcing ban currently. That's 2007 Liverpool shirt. Oh, there you go, 20 quid. 12.50. Oh, boys. 19 quid. Has it got a name on the back? No. Boys. Yeah, we'll say. We'll probably go for about 20 quid on it. Might come down on that one slightly because it is a bit, just a bit faded. Well, I'll look at the condition of the other ones that are sold before I do that. And then the final one, we've got a name on the back of this one, which is slightly coming off, a Dortmund shirt. Um, it's got some cracking etc on it but still worth picking up when the whole bag was like 29 quid and you know a couple of shirts from it are worth more than that alone Shirt boot. No, I only just opened last weekend um, for stuff, so but no, it can't be too early in the morning for me to be honest. Uh, I tend to sell them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna find the right one, but 2021 14 16. I uh, will say 15 quid on it for argument's sake. Uh, and that is it. So I spent today. Works out. Just short of 150 quid, apparently, which is more than I intended to spend. Not right.
Oh, I spent just short of 150 quid anyway, so uh, that's me not eating. What do we reckon then? Total listed value. Let's have a guess. From my 150 quid. What do we reckon? 150 quid, buying blind. Bear in mind, there's a couple of items that haven't been priced. Some stuff will probably go for slightly more than I put here. Some stuff might go for slightly less. And I've just taken the lowest price I'm likely to list stuff for. What do we reckon? James has gone 387 quid. Definitely way out there, James. Not even close, I'm afraid. Pete's gone 400 quid. Not even close. Sorry, Power State. Longest live ever. Two and a half hours live. We got any higher than 400 quid? 210? No, definitely not. 640, keep going higher. T Cakes has gone 1200 quid, which is very close. And T Cakes is very close there. Um, about 1280 quid. Oh, stuck. Uh, so yeah, not bad for 150 quid. Uh, although I am not now going to be able to spend any more money because I've spent every penny I've got by the looks of it. Let me double check that. I'm sure I've spent 100 quid, not 150. Let's have a look. It's all on PayPal, so it should tell me on my business card. Uh, do. Yeah, that's right, it's been about 150 quid. Uh, so yeah, 1200 pounds, 1250 pounds, roughly 450 quid. So not bad, not bad at all. I am happy with that. That will give me a good week's worth of listing, and um, maybe slightly more. Plenty of stuff to research further uh, but yeah some good money there so in conclusion is buying blind worth it well I bought a bag of clothes for 29 quid and they uh, have a value of um let's have a look roughly 225 quid and bought some books for £7.50 that have roughly 250 quid's worth of value. Um, so, yes, buying blind is worth it, but only if you have the knowledge and experience to fall back on to be able to look at stuff and know there's money in it. I certainly would have recommended if you was new to uh, reselling, you know, just going off whatever you see on YouTube or whatever, you know, you need to have some knowledge of brands that sell for you. Uh, etc but if you've got that knowledge you can go crazy and buy all kinds of stuff or you could be like me and buy a bag of books for yourself and then discover it's worth a fortune anyway folks i'm going to go and make dinner because i've been broadcasting for over two and a half hours thank you all for watching i will be broadcasting tomorrow night after the football so it, it won't be uh Till the football's finished, so it'll be late night broadcasting tomorrow for drinking tea with Andrew or whatever we do. So thanks everyone for watching. See you all next video. Bye for now.